A new year, a new coach for the Purdue football program. Jeff Brom is the leader of the Boilermakers. Sports 18's Andrew Pogar sat down with Brom to find out why he's the right guy for the job and how he's adjusting to life in West Lafayette. Well, it's been a very busy last couple of weeks, but uh, in a good way. I think that uh, there's a lot of work to be done. You know, recruiting is the number one priority right now. If you've got to sit in the film room, if you've got to watch and evaluate uh, all the prospects, you can. And you've got to make sure when you're doing that, the ones you like, you're immediately getting on the phone and trying to get a hold of them, get a hold of their coaches, get a hold of their family members, and, and try to sell Purdue and what we're about to build here. In between then, uh, talking to possible coaches and people that you want to uh, investigate into and see if they not only are great coaches but people that are going to fit into the program. They're good people. They're going to care about uh, doing things the right way here. They're going to really want to invest in trying to do something that maybe isn't easy. Why, why this challenge, Jeff? It's the perfect timing for me. I think that uh, I love the game of football. I love the competition aspect of it. I love uh, the team camaraderie. Let's go. And building a football team and helping your players grow. I did like the challenge aspect of it. That was appealing to me. It was like, you know what, let's go do something that isn't easy. How are you ready for what's ahead? You never know for sure if you're ready. I think that uh, I've been fortunate enough to be around the game my whole life. Uh, I've had some success uh, without question. I've had some failure without uh, question. I think when you're able to deal with both and find a way to handle that adversity the right way and, and, and make it make it make you stronger and, and get something out of it, uh, it'll make you a better person. During your introductory press conference, you said one of the first things you said was you were all in. How do you get this team better immediately? Win. One play at a time. Let's and go. Never give up. They've got to know that you care about them. I think when, when your players understand that you care about them, your coaches care about them, that you're willing to uh, work with them, uh, they're normally going to play for you. They're normally going to work for you. And I think that We've got to increase the competition in the building, and our guys got to understand that every day has to be a competition. It has to be a fight to want to win. You were a hot commodity when it came to coaching vacancies. Just what separated Purdue from other schools that expressed interest in you? You know, I'm not one of those guys that likes to move around a whole lot. I'm not looking for the next best job, the next best dollar, all those things. Uh, I'm interested in, in winning. As this thing came about, uh, when you talk to the leadership here, and our athletic director, our president, I really felt a strong sense and a push that they wanted to find a way to to get some success back in the program and uh, you know me being not from too far away from here I understand the history and tradition of this program and what they've been able to accomplish going to uh, the Big Ten in a tremendous conference which has even improved over the last three years dramatically I think the fan base is really hungry for success which is what you want and they want somebody to come in here that's going to work at it and sometimes you can wait for all these top jobs so to speak and hope that they're going to land in your lap and you can go into an easy situation uh, but you know what i like this situation 